Welcome back, people. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a blown trace on a PCB. So what I'm doing is just taking off some of this, and you'll see why in a second. So here it is cleaned up. I've removed most of the solder mask over the blown trace. Now the trick to fixing this is very simple. Let me show you. Here we have a, a tape. This is actually adhesive copper tape. And this is gonna be key to fixing that blown trace. Basically tear off a thin strip, place it over the area where the trace is blown right there and then just flow some solder over it. And that's basically it. Let me show you how I do this. I'm just sticking the piece of copper foil on. I just tore a strip of it off and I'm just gonna stick it over the, the broken trays. And just kind of flatten it down. As you can see here, just make sure it's flat. It doesn't have to be, it's better if it sticks. Sometimes the glue on the tape is not great. But there you go, so, and you can see why I took some of the paint off, just to give it some area to flow the solder. So that looks like it does a fairly good job of covering up. So now our solder, here it is. And you can use any type of solder. Use leaded or unleaded. So here goes. See how well that spreads onto the copper, the copper foil. One thing I'm noticing, the glue does heat up a little bit. But there's us, there's the solder spreading. So there's the final result with the broken trace repair. One thing I might have done better would be to have removed more of the um, paint, the enamel paint, and then it would have given me more area around the tape to make the join, but that was the only thing I noticed that I probably could have done better, but there you go. I just sanded off some of the excess solder here, as you can see, so that looks better and it's more flatter. Here's another one here that I'm going to do. This one's just to illustrate it. This is a piece of copper cloud that I just dremeled, just to show you how easy this can work. Stick the copper foil down, just press on it, get it nice and flat. Get your soldering iron ready and hot. Then just flow some solder over it, over it to achieve the join. A little bit more. Let that cool down. There you are. A complete join across a broken trace. It takes literally minutes to do. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to check back for more videos.